Today I want to share with you a really interesting image, set of images, that Aesthetic Wonder, AI Static Wonders has created. And if you take a look, these are pretty cool shots from famous movies. And here we can see Johnny Depp in the Pirates of the Caribbean. We have uh, Neo from The Matrix. We have Leonardo DiCaprio from the Catch Me If You Can movie. Uh, or is that the Titanic? It might. I think it's the Titanic. Uh, we have Robert Downey Jr. from the famous Iron Man movie. Now, if you'd like to recreate this, there are a couple of ways to do that. And I want to show you a very simple way. And uh, that very simple way is thanks to this user from the Twitter, AI Symmetric Wonders, okay? And they created a simple prompt that we're gonna copy and paste and we're gonna try this out. Let's see, can this actually recreate these type of images? And, and as a bonus, I'm also gonna show you how we can recreate a similar type of image inside a free AI tool because right now mid journey costs $10 a month, which I think is totally worth it. But I also want to show you a free version of so called, let's say a free version of mid journey. Okay, so let's open up first mid journey. <laughs> and, and as you can see, I already played around with some of the commands. And when you're in mid journey, so uh, to be in mid journey, first of all, you got to install Discord, okay? After you've installed Discord, you add the mid-journey bot, okay? And then you can direct message mid-journey. What does it mean? It's like you're messaging a friend here and you're writing some stuff to mid-journey. Okay, how does the writing of stuff work? So here we have a prompt. So this is a command. We're gonna just copy and paste this prompt as it is. And I'm gonna explain exactly what each of these sections mean. So now if you would copy and paste this prompt into mid journey and just hit return, nothing would happen because there is a process to it. So you need to push the forward slash button and then this drop down appears. And now all you got to do is click on the imagine drop down on the imagine menu. And now you can copy and paste the prompt that we have just created. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste it. Okay, so let's see the, what the prompt says. So prompt formula, okay, we can delete that. Uh, a hyper-realistic GoPro selfie of actor on the movie set of the movie. Okay, so let's start with uh, what type of a movie? Let's say Jason Statham in the movie, which one? Transporter. And the rest I'm gonna keep exactly the same. Now the re this, this end part is gonna show the resolution of the image, okay? And I'm gonna hit return and now we're gonna wait. So as you see, uh, Mid Journey is telling us, okay, it's already working on the image. So it's waiting to get started. And in the meantime, we're gonna just think about a couple of other famous movie famous movies and famous actors. So if you have a couple of ideas, yes, please type the name of the actor and the name of the movie into the, the, into the comment section. Okay, now, as you see, we already see the, the, new, um, the new image appear. It's about 90% ready, okay. And we get in mid journey, you always get four images. And I'll explain how that works. So first let's open this up and let's take a look. Is it, is it, does it resemble Jason Statham? Well, this one kind of does, this one not so much, not so much, not so much. Let's, let's, stay, maybe I didn't write his name correctly. It looks like that. So I'm gonna just check the name again, very simply like this. Of course I didn't. So that's why it invented a different name. So now we have the name. And how can you how can you fix this? I'm gonna copy the prompt again, backslash, or I mean forward slash, add it in. Yeah, this should be good. 
And in the meantime, I'm going to explain what these images mean. So basically we have here image one, two, three, four. And then you have under these images, these buttons. One, two, three, four, with the use. So it means upscale. If I would push U1, it would upscale this image. So it, made, it makes the image larger. Now V1, 2, 3, 4 would uh, make a version of the first image, the second, the third, or the fourth one. Okay, so now we can see that our next set of images is being generated. And I think the results will be much, much better on this one. So let's take a look. Okay, the image is ready. Let's open this one up. I think this is this is looking better. It's, it's much closer to the face of the actor. So I think this image, the fourth image, is looking quite similar to Jason Statham. Let's, let's select that and I want another version, another set of versions for that specific one. Let's see what we'll get. Well, now he has a he has a beard. Okay, that's nice. We got to call up Jason and tell him, okay, now in your next transporter movie, you need a longer beard. Yeah, almost ready, 83%. And there we have it. Okay, so I think this is, this is looking good. Number four is looking good. So then you can upscale number four. It's going to give you the uh, upscaled version of this image, as you see. And you can open it in your browser zoom in, save it, and bam, there you have it, you have your image ready. Uh, I just want to show you that we have successfully recreated the uh, Johnny Depp image. I think this is looking really good, really, really good. Let's open it up a little bit. Let's take a look at the details. Wow. So this, this one, this one now, it, it made him a little too chubby. This one is really good. This one is also okay. This this is really cool. I like the background with all that stuff going on there. We're gonna recreate this one. So Leonardo DiCaprio and Titanic. These are our keywords. So let's take again the the magic prompt. Forward slash imagine. Let's paste this in and just change the name. So Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio in the movie, in the movie Titanic. Let's see what it does. I will also show you, as I said, how to do the same thing in a different app that is not Midjourney, because uh, I know I know that uh, Midjourney sometimes can feel a little bit overwhelming, especially with, because you need to work in Discord and so on. So don't worry, I will show you also a more simple way to do this. Okay, now we have the image of the Titanic. I think this is absolutely amazing. Wow. This one, this one nailed it. This is, this is very close. This one is also really good. Yeah, this is kind of okay. This is not so close. So as you see, yes, the prompt is working. Let's copy and paste this exact prompt as it is. And now let's just move on over to a different app. And I want to introduce you to a really cool free AI app. And it's called Leonardo.ai. So Leonardo.ai. And all you got to do is first click on get early access. You just add your email here. They will accept you instantly or within one or two minutes and you, count, you click on count me in, it will send an email to your inbox. You verify that email and then just click on launch the app. You need to enter your email address and so on, just log in and then click on yes, I'm, I'm whitelisted. And then the AI app will open up. And what's pretty cool about this one is that it gives you uh, almost, well, it gives you uh, 150 credits per per three hours. So every three hours you get 150 credits. What does it mean? It means that every image is about one or two credits. So you get almost 100 images every three hours. So that's, that's a lot. So that's quite a lot. And you get that for free. So how do you use Leonardo AI? 
you, you have a lot of menus here don't worry about those buttons just click here click on AI image generation click on that and now you see I already typed in here a hyper realistic GoPro selfie of Johnny Depp in the pirate in the movie of the Pirates of the Caribbean and as you can see here it has its own style so Leonardo has a very specific style but and this one I think this one is pretty cool of course it's not as close as uh, mid journey to the, the uh, to the image but it this one is a different style it has this cartoonish uh, drawing style okay so now let's delete this one and let's add our uh, original prompts i'm going to just delete this code from the end we don't need it in leonardo leonardo is much much more simple i'm going to delete this one okay and you can let me show you so you, in the left side you have a bunch of numbers here now what's interesting is that you can select the resolution of the, the aspect ratio of the image easily you don't have to add any type of codes so basically this is something like mid journey but without all the coding stuff and uh, let's 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 keep it at 16 by 9 okay so i'm gonna hit generate and let's see well we're, first we're gonna click, select leonardo style this is the default style okay and now i'm gonna click generate let's see what it does then there you have it there you have it wow okay now as you can see the look is a is a bit more cartoonish it, it has a very specific style and if you're going after this style then leonardo is going to be the tool for you and it's going to give you a lot of good results and that's and if you don't like it you can just generate a new set of images but what's really cool i think is that leonardo is free and it's more user friendly you don't need to use discord and you don't need to know about any of the advanced coding prompting prompt engineering uh, things okay so let's take a look yeah this this looks good this this looks good i mean not exactly the facial characteristics but it's quite close hope you enjoyed this little fun tutorial and if you want to check out more ai tools actually i have an entire list i've put together an entire list of my favorite ai tools favorite 300 ai tools that you can download for free i've marked the best ones with stars these are the ones that i highly recommend you can check them out and the link is in the description of this video and thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in a couple of seconds in the next one bye bye